Hey everybody, forecasters have issued a G4 geomag geomagnetic storm. Say that 10 times. A G4 <laughs> geomagnetic storm. I'm here with Angela, I'm Felicia, and we're talking about what this means. Yeah, it really has to do with the sun and basically a solar storm, which is the reason I know who knew <laughs> the sun had storms. Um, but that's the reason the geomagnetic G4 watch that storm watch was issued. And much like uh, we measure tornadoes or hurricanes, there's a scale for geomagnetic storms and it goes from one to five. Four was the watch that was issued and that's severe. And that's the reason as the skies cleared, we saw pictures like this all across central Indiana last night. It was epic. I think it's fascinating. It's beautiful. Yeah. You did say severe storm. Is this something to be concerned about when we see pictures like this? Well, in a sense, yes, because these geomagnetic storms can interrupt power systems. So that is one thing they keep an eye on, aside from the beauty that, that occurs, too. Wow. Okay, so there's a chance that you could see it again today, November 12th, Wednesday. If you go outside at nighttime, yeah. you should be able to see it. Now, do you so want we'll to know... Following do you oh. want to know about the colors? Okay, let's talk about that. This is, <laughs> yeah, this is not my area of expertise, so I had to look it up. Yes. Uh, but the because we've had some questions yes. about the colors. Uh, the different colors of the aurora are produced when different atmospheric atoms and molecules are excited to various energy levels. Okay, the atoms are excited, <laughs> so we get different colors. She's amazing. Listen, we're always covering really cool and interesting topics like this. You can find more on WTHR.com. Angela, thanks. Of course. <laughs>